Hey guys, girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys doing? Well, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at a simple 3D kind of introduction program. And I'm not going to code this, I'm just going to show you what we're going to be working towards. Okay, this is. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry about that. My mic thing is kind of screwing around. Uh, one second. Yeah, so we're just going to be working with 3D points, and I'm going to show you the difference between all of these things and what you kind of need to learn in order to work with 3D, right? And, oh, there we go. This should be fine. So, uh, so yeah. So we're going through all the shaders. Fragment shader, geometry shader, and a vertex shader. And I have these for the core, basically for regular objects. These are for the light object. So every time you draw object, you can call a certain type of shader. And we'll be working with that. We have the camera class that I created. We'll go through that as well and all that stuff. So this is just an intro to the code. This isn't really me coding, but, uh, but basically I'm going to show you the different steps. So you, we're going to be using GLFW and glue. GLFW is for uh, basically the window and all that stuff. Glue is for some error handling and stuff like that in OpenGL. So you're going to need those two. I'm going to show you how to link and, and copy all that stuff as well. Uh, in in a little bit but uh, but yeah this is otherwise it's just the intro so you create the window by init window we're creating a window and a frame buffer and stuff we will be creating and loading the shaders initializing the matrices so this is how you rotate and scale and and move stuff around in the world we will send the matrices to shaders so you have to send all the data to the graphics card to have it processed and then you get stuff back Create box is basically me just creating a bunch of points to create this square. Uh, and main, here we call everything and draw everything. So there are two different ways to draw as well. This is good to know. This is like might sound alien to you, but this is just to have you remember things. So what you can do is you either you can make lines between all the points and go through all the points in a in a uh, for example, a square. How many points would that have? One, two, three, four. Actually, four points, right? But in graphics cards, if you're going to make two triangles, that's going to be six points. So you have two unnecessary points that are going to overlap each other in the corners, right? And then you can use something called a uh, like an index buffer, which keeps track of which points will be used twice, and you can make sure to reuse those points from another triangle to create another triangle. So you just need four points. Okay, so to illustrate that, this is a, a good thing to illustrate. You have four points in your graphics card, or three points to create a triangle. To create a square, you would just need this point. But what we have to do sometimes is create two extra in here for this other triangle, right? To create a square. So this is one triangle, and then you have the other triangle. But there are two reused, or two extra points here that aren't used, that aren't supposed to be used. So what you can do is you can make an index buffer which keeps track of these two points, and or all the points actually, and it will, we can just tell it where to create the triangle, or which points to create the triangle from. So then we'll reuse these two and make one more extra point to make a square. And I hope that made sense. But yeah, that's what we are going to be doing here, at least. So you can read up on that. It's called index buffers. And you can read up on that and see if, if you learn something. Culling means just cutting out stuff. So it's all the back faces, all the back sides of the triangles aren't going to be drawn. So you're going to save a bunch of processing power there. And yeah, this is basically how the code looks. This is what we're going to be doing. So it's not a bunch of code, just a little bit. And then we'll get something that looks like this we'll get a camera we can move around with we have a floor basically two big triangles that makes a floor lights that react with it we have specular lighting it's called and regular diffuse lighting so specular is all this white kind of reflection-ish things you see how, how it's moving otherwise this face of the, the square 
would just be one color. It would be that orangish color, wherever the light hits. And it would be darker and darker the further away we go. But we get this specular lighting, this kind of reflectionish lighting from the light that's working. All of the lights aren't working right now, but we'll, we'll make sure we implement that. But see how it gets darker further away? That's also something you can implement. Uh, otherwise, it would just light up everything the same. But there is specular lighting, regular diffuse lighting, and there is no ambient light right now. So that's the three types of kind of lighting uh, that you can implement. And then you have th these lights are actually called uh, what do you call point lights. So they go in every direction in a sphere. There are uh, spotlights that just go in a one direction and light up like a flashlight. And then there are other a few other different types of lights. But yeah, we'll be go through going through all of those uh, and then textures and stuff as well. So yeah, that's it. That's the intro to what we're going to be making. So you can look forward to it uh, before we actually start coding all of this. And then we'll go through all the matrices and vector stuff as well. So yeah, I hope you're excited. And I am excited. So it's going to be fun. And I hope you learned something. I hope you are prepared for this. It's a pretty good way to get into 3D. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.